Greetings everyone, this is Jasmina and in this video I am going to talk about the various Sanher methods that I've already covered in one single location and I call this location the test house and it is located right here with the yellow circle and there is a river here and another intermittent stream that comes here and there's a water mouth here. So this is the general setup that I've used in all of the videos about the Sanher so that we can test it out. And I'm going to be comparing the various ones for this particular location. Now there are seven different types and some of them this house meets, some of them it doesn't. Now, all of these methods require a nearby river. And how near is a little bit subjective, but if you can see the river, it is close enough. And if the river is blocked by buildings, but you could see it, that is, it's close enough to see, if the buildings weren't there, it also is supposed to be good. You're going to at least get some of the energy. Now, many of these methods, but not all, require a water mouth. And that water mouth must be locked to be effective. And this is, uh, this water mouth here, I'm not 100% sure about. Now, some of these methods also require additional landforms, such as mountains. And you might ask a question, what happens if the water doesn't run all year round? Because you can see this is a pretty arid place. Even though right down here, you can see the water. The, this little stream does not run very often. And it actually comes from someplace over here, actually follows the road, which may seem a little weird, but that's how it works. And uh, then it comes out here. Now there is a little bridge right here. Uh, so we know there is a river there, or at least a stream. Well, when it doesn't run all year, the Sanher is not active. It only is active when the water runs. And again, it's not 100% clear that this particular water mouth is locked. There is a bridge downstream. It's just a matter of, is it close enough? And I'm not sure about that. But since the water rarely runs here, it doesn't make much of a difference in this case. So back to the simple formations. Uh, here we have water that runs past the door at an angle towards the house and towards, actually it's really towards the door. So this is good. In the larger satellite picture, you can see we have a clockwise mountain range behind the house a counterclockwise river in front of the house, and this one runs pretty much all year round. Not always, but uh, it, there's recharge efforts which make this water run pretty much all the time. And then on the back side of the mountains, there is another more intermittent stream that uh, does meet at a water mouth. And uh, there, it is almost certainly locked, this one. When it comes to the 72 Dragon Hong Luan Jia Zi method, uh, it appears to meet the requirements. Now, I did give a warning in the video about this that I'm not 100% sure that it does because this is based on three blogs of David Yek, and he is not terribly clear exactly how he determines it. But using his example as not working, this one appears to work but I could be wrong. Now, this is the first Sanhu water method in the book, Water, Water Everywhere. And it does meet the requirements if we use the counterclockwise 12 chi cycle ring. So there's growth bath, this is counterclockwise, and it just meets the requirements. Now, when we look at the Sanher compliant facing, it does not meet the requirements. And in some ways that is good because this would be very difficult to 
uh, to meet because this has a lot of external landform requirements that the house doesn't quite meet. It comes very close, but it doesn't quite meet it. It also does not meet the negative facing, which is good. When we look at the grow in, counter in uh, method, it actually is positive. It is good. The house is supposed to receive chi. Now, this is one water method that does not require a water mouth. And finally, when we look at matching dragons to facing, the only houses that can meet it are the ones that are in the prosper or the growth directions. This house is not, but it does have a river that flows in the correct direction and it has mountains in the correct locations. In fact, in all of the correct locations, but it still does not meet it because the house facing doesn't meet it. So this is what we have overall. We have five yeses and two noes. And does that mean the house receives chi or not? That's a good question. Since I am a scientist, I do believe whether or not the house receives good sanher chi should not depend on the method that we humans use to analyze it. That is, I believe there is an independent reality out there. And so then the question becomes, who is correct? I admit, I do not know. At the present time, I do not know. There are issues that make this difficult to determine. But I do acknowledge that it's possible that these different methods don't, if you don't meet a certain method, doesn't mean you don't receive chi. But these different methods may tell you basically how much chi and the quality, the, you know, is it really, really good or is it just good or is it bad? The, you know, kind of general quality of the Sanher chi. And that might depend on which method that you meet. That I do believe can happen and maybe that is what is actually happening here. Now, one of the big issues is that San He acts slowly enough that many people don't feel its effects because they move too often. And that's certainly my case. But the San He was designed or developed by, lo by uh, looking at grave sites. And it was supposed to improve your descendants' luck, not your luck, of course, because you're dead, but it sometimes doesn't really get strong into maybe the great-grandchildren level, so it takes a while. And uh, But it certainly isn't bad to have. Now, I wouldn't be terribly worried about this. Remember, this, these methods I've covered so far require a river. And not that many places have a river close by. But if, you, if your house, your apartment, whatever, if it can see both mountains and water, it is much, much more likely to have good uh, chi reaching the building. And it may not necessarily be San Her Chi, but it could be San Yuan Chi, and either one is good. So I wouldn't be too worried if you don't have a river nearby, because it may or may not help you. So that's basically it. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact me here if you have any questions or visit my ad-free website for more information. And if you subscribe, you can uh, see some new videos every month, a couple of them every year, and uh, occasionally totally new videos. And I will be covering more of the Sanher in the future. Thank you again for watching.